is Assassin's plate, uh, Assassin, is Assassin's Rogue plate. Um. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the third part uh, of the Frozen Throne card review. Um, I just wanted to thank you very quickly already at the start for the um, great feedback and support um, as always. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Again, those cards aren't in the order they were released. I'm really sorry I messed that up when I like uh, made my list. I hope you can live with that. First one is Necrotic Geist. Whenever one of your other minions dies, summon a 2-2 ghoul. Very poor stats. Um, of course you can go infinite with this, kinda, if you manage to keep Necrotic Geist alive. Um, but yeah, it's like, you can compare it to Flesh Eating Ghoul, which can also get out of control sometimes in Arena. Um, yeah, but it's not really constructed level. Next one is Voodoo Hexer. It's a Shaman card. It's a 5 mana 2 7 taunt, freeze any character damaged by this minion. You can compare this to the um, 2 7 taunt from Warrior uh, stat wise. So we kind of experienced that this is that difficult to kill. A good stat line for 5 mana if the effect is strong and freeze any character damaged by this minion is good. I mean like look at this without all the synergistic cards. It's a good effect. We have that on water elemental. Um, though water elemental has a little bit of better stats though voodoo hexer has taunt. I think it's a it's a fine minion and if there is control shaman I think uh, you might play this. Next up is Light Sorrow. It's a 4 mana paladin weapon. Um, it has 1 attack and 4, four durability. After a friendly minion loses divine shield, ga gain plus 1 attack. Mm. 4 charges is a lot. 1 attack is of course nothing. But this can probably get out of control. Though I would say like normally if you combo this off you will probably get like an assassin's blade from rogue. Is assassin's blade played? No, it's not, because there's so much weapon removal in the game. Also, this um, competes with um, True Silver, and True Silver just has like its pure value without having to combo it with anything. So I'm not sure that this will see play, but it can become a very strong weapon. Um, it will probably depend on how the Divine Shield uh, synergy works out for Paladin and how much weapon removal is played. Next one is Meat Wagon. It's a 4 mana 1 4 mech, Death Rattle, summon a minion from a deck with less attack than this minion. So um, yeah, that's kind of a niche application. You can think of some combos with it, but it's surely not constructed level. It is interesting that it is a mech um, that means in wild you could play some combos with this. You could buff it to get um, some higher statted minions. You should look out in the future for like maybe high costed zero attack um, minions. That might be a thing. Eternal Servitude. It's a four mana priest spell. Discover a friendly minion that died this game. Summon it. Um, yeah, that's super strong. It's like, it's like resurrect with discover. And that's what Priest always wanted because the whole the main weakness out of Resurrect was um, that it was random and you could get screwed just by having played like one weaker minion. Um, with the Discover effect, you are able to uh, get that big minion out you want to resurrect. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna see that in Control Priests. At least I would be puzzled if not. <laughs> Professor Putricide. It's a 4 mana 5 4 hunter legendary. After you play a secret, put a random hunter secret into the battlefield. It's not a beast, so no beast synergy going on for this card. You could combo this with the secret, the 3 mana 3 4. Your secrets cost 0 mana. You could basically try to build a secret hunter again. I don't know, it doesn't look that appealing to me. It's not a thing you would put into a mid-range hunter. Maybe if you play like a control hunter with a lot of spells, maybe you can play this and the whole secret theme for your early game, but it doesn't seem like super powerful. Hunter secrets aren't that powerful. Ghastly Conjurer. Um, it's a 4 mana 2-6. Battle cry, add a mirror image spell to your hand. 
Mm, Value-wise, this seems fine. You get two six stats, which is kind of okay. Um, you get a mirror image, so it's a good value card. Uh, mirror images can also help to stall the game a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna see it because it doesn't look constructed level strong. The two attack is a little bit weak. It doesn't really trade with anything. It doesn't have taunt. Um, but it's a card that supports actually quest mage, so we could see it in there because the mirror images help stalling and they um, help you proceeding with your quest. Cold race. 3 mana, 3 for battle cry. If an enemy is frozen, draw a card. So it could be a 3 mana, 3 for draw a card. It's a mage common, so we'll probably see this a lot in arena. And if you happen to get the draw, it's of course super strong, but like 3 mana, 3 fours in arena are also like already kind of fine. Um, is this constructed level? I don't think so. Like, um, Getting this off is too complicated, it will happen like too rarely to be worth. And Mage has already a lot of card draws. Prince Valona, the last of the princes. 4 mana 4-4, four, four, battle cry. If your deck has no forecast cards, gain lifesteal and taunt. This is like the best of the princes, it seems at least, or it's like not maybe not the best, but the most easily playable. Um, there are a few decks that don't really run a lot of four drops that could play that. Um, I myself as a rogue player um, thought of rogue like instantly because rogue used to run uh, Sentient Shield Masters actually. Prince Valner is kind of that, it has taunt and lifesteal, it's, it's actually better. So yeah, you could um, consider running it in Rogue since there aren't many good 4-drops for Rogue. And if you don't play Miracle, Shirazine isn't good. I could see this trying it out in Rogue, but it's not on a broken level. Like It's not like, oh yeah, this, this will definitely gonna be in Rogue. Um, it's like, yeah, you can try it in Rogue, it could be okay. Shadowblade, 3 mana, 3-2, three, rogue weapon, battle cry, your hero is immune this turn. Mm. So, yeah, 3 mana, 3-2 three, weapon is okay-ish. Like, I still don't see, like, uh, this weapon, this weapon doesn't excuse the Blade Flurry nerf for me. No. I mean, I know a lot of people like the weapon and I don't, I don't think the weapon is bad, but I also don't think it's like s such a great weapon that um, Blightfury would have like needed that nerf. You can compare it to Petition's Blade. Petition's Blade saw almost no play at all and Petition's Blade is a good weapon. Petition's Blade has a strong combo effect. Uh, it kind of does the same Shadow Blade does often. Like the combo damage, the two damage deal deals with a with an early game minion and you don't have to face tank it. So in the early game Petition's Blade kinda did the same. But there are also some weapon buffs and if weapon removal is somehow not played anymore, maybe we will see Rogue with huge big buffed weapons and if it works out weapon removal will return. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's like the weapon is okay and uh, you can play it, but um, it's not like this makes a rogue great again. We, we have to see more strong weapon effects for this to be good. Mountain Fire Armor, 3 mana for 3 death battle. If it's your opponent's turn, gain 6 armor. This is really interesting, although it's also a little bit awkward. You want to have that 6 armor, but you can't um, get it yourself. Your opponent has to trade into it. And honestly, 3 mana for 3 is okay -ish stats. I'm not sure we're gonna see this in Constructed since an aggressive deck doesn't have the reason to trade this off. Beer Shark! Our dream has come true. Beer Shark is here. 3 mana for 3 can't be targeted by spells or hero powers and it's a beast. It's actually a good card. The stats are fine. The effect is actually good for Hunter. Um, Hunter doesn't have like beasts with such a such an effect and it if it sticks and you can Houndmaster it, um, the effect might be very relevant. 
but um, it competes with very good cards on the three mana slot, like with Animal Companions, with the Eagle Horn Bow, with Unleash, um, with Kill Command. I'm not sure like that there is a place for it in the usual hunter lists, but it's a common. You could play it in low budget decks. Doomed Apprentice, a three mana three two. Your opponent's spells cost one more. Messing around with the mana of your opponent is is quite strong, but of course a three mana three two is shitty stats. It could be okay to play this on turn three actually because. Uh, imagine your opponent is on four mana and he planned to like frostbolt and ping so you would mess up his curve so I think actually if you play this on curve in the early game in a tempo deck um, this is fine if you draw this in the late game it will do nothing and the stats are shit bring it on two mana warrior spell epic gain 10 armor reduce the cost of minions in your opponent's hand by two Two mana gain 10 armor, that's kind of okay-ish. Um, we have Ironhide, which gives you 5 armor for 1 mana, and that's shit. Gaining 10 armor for 2 mana is better than that, because it's only one card. But, of course, the effect is very bad. You could like argue, yeah, you played in the late game, and if they dump their hand, they're uh, gonna play into Brawl. And I kinda agree, like in the late game it will probably not be that relevant, but on the other hand, your opponent knows that there's a brawl coming in the late game, so he will play around that and will still gain tempo. And in the early game, against an aggressive deck, um, even if you gain the 10 armor, they can dump their whole hand, you're far away from brawl, you're just gonna get hit in the face very very hard. Crystasis, 2 mana shaman spell, give a minion plus 3 plus 3 and freeze it. This is like interesting, it looks it looks really bad at first. I buff a minion and then I freeze it so it can't attack. If it's a taunt it might be alright, also if you just played the minion it might be alright. And, and also it's very flexible right, because you can choose to freeze an enemy minion or you can choose to buff your own minion. And in my experience cards that allow you to be either defensive or aggressive with are usually pretty good. Though this still seems to be a little bit too weak for that. The freeze effect um, isn't really enough, even though you have the synergis synergistic cards in Shaman now. Howling Commander, 3 mana, 2-2, two, two. Paladin card, Battle Cry, draw a Divine Shield minion from your deck. This is a good card. 3 mana, draw a card. It of course depends if you play this Divine Shield um, Paladin thing. People said like, ooh, holy shit, I can draw my uh, Ty Tyrion for free, but like, you don't want to draw Tyrion on turn 3, like, it's not like you can play him on turn 4, so that's actually not what you want with this card. You want to curve out with these draw effects, so I would rather see this in, in Divine Shield decks, and if the Divine Shield decks work out, we might see it in there. Animated Berserker, 1 mana, 1-3, one, Warrior card, after you play a minion, deal 1 damage to it. So yeah, you can combo this with all those cards. Um, you wanna enrage. It still seems a little bit weak. 1-3 won't live for long. I could actually see this in some low budget de warrior decks who play all the burr circus and stuff and try just to curve out. Might be actually okay in that. Dead man's hand. 2 mana, shuffle a copy of your hand into your deck. So warrior is able to go infinite now as well. So you put two of those in your deck, then you wait until you have both in your hand, you play one, and you get a copy of the other one and all the other cards you have in hand. If Fatigue Warrior is a thing, Control Warrior comes back, we will see this in there. Against Aggro, it's of course shit, I will definitely play around with that. Seems a lot of fun. Leeching Poison, two mana give you weapon lifesteal. Rogue card. Yeah, I think this is too weak. Maybe we get another weapon, not just the one we just saw. But like this, it's the problem is there's always weapon removal. 
there's always weapon removal and two mana is also kind of expensive it's not the sustainability rogue is looking for it's not enough it's not enough i don't think it's gonna work out i mean sure if you play enough weapons the, the opponent probably doesn't have enough weapon removal and you will get some value out of this but it's probably not enough yeah blizzard please give me more Give me more. Ice Walker, 2 mana 1 3. Your hero power also freezes the target. 2 mana 1 3 is shitty stats. The ability is quite good, but I don't think it's enough. Since if you play this in the late game, it's basically 4 mana, freeze a target, and deal 1 damage to it. And in the early game, it will just die. In arena it could be quite okayish, since in arena your opponent doesn't have necessarily the means to answer this and in a top deck situation do you ping a big minion. A sanguine reveler. One mana, one one, battle cry, destroy a friendly minion and gain plus two plus two. Yeah, this looks okay, but I mean just play flame imp. <laughs> you could combo this with X and then it might be actually good if like the Egg Warlock theme works out in standard. Defile. 2 mana Warlock spell. Deal 1 damage to all minions if any die cast this again. This is a great spell. I like the puzzle you get. How, how can I set up the board to clear a huge board with Defile? This card of course is shit against control decks, but it's so good against aggro. I really like it. Weenum Strike Trap. 2 mana, Hunter Trap, uh, Secret, when one of your minion is attacked, summon a 2-3 Poisonous Cobra. It's okay, it's not amazing. Your opponent is attacking, so he can still interact with the Cobra and deal with it. It's on a quite similar power level to, to Beer Trap. Gnome Ferratu. 2 mana, 2-3, remove the top card of your opponent's deck as a battle cry. People are going crazy about this card. Let's be real, this card isn't really str very strong. I mean, of course, you have like the high roll. Besides that, 2 mana, 2-3 is poor stats. It doesn't have a tag, so there isn't any tribe synergy available. This guy's Toad made a really good tweet. Yeah, that, that's really what it is. I'm sure people will play this just out of fun. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, um, hit the thumbs up button below. If you didn't like it, also use the thumbs down button. Um, if you do that, I'm very, very happy to hear your feedback. Please use the comment section below and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.